Hey guys, oh, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well like always and thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it. Today's video is going to be super fast. I'm going to be showing you how to install The Sims for mods. Okay, so I've already done videos on how to download mods and then how to download custom content because there is a difference. But this is the video on how to install your mods. And I'm going to be showing you guys specifically how to install the Slice of Life mod because that's what I downloaded in that video. But this works for any mod. I always back up my mods and by back up my mods I mean that I save the mods somewhere on my computer. I copy the folder somewhere on my computer. That's what I mean by back up the folder so my mods folder is empty when I test out mods per usual and all my mod videos I suggest this or if you do want to keep all your mods let me open up my other mods folder that has been backed up you can just put it into your already organized mods folder and if you're wondering how to organize your mods I do have a video on that but my mods are very very organized by the creator and by what they are so I used to have a folder called um, trial and error or just trial mods but I've learned that it's easier for me just to keep my mods folder backed up and just create a new mods folder which all you have to do is back up your mods delete your old mods folder restart your game it's like takes like a minute delete your old mods folder and then start your game up and it'll create a mods folder for you but moving forward, how you install any mod is to drag all of this into your mods folder, you guys. You have to drag every one of these files into your mods folder. Do not forget. And this creator made these folders themselves so Kwai Stacy made all of these folders you cannot drop mods into sub folders so as you can see this says the drama system emotions mental cycle party system all of that is organized so the creator made these folders so that's fine you cannot go in and create your own folders you cannot have subfolders inside of mod folders it doesn't work that way so in custom content you can with mods you cannot so and also the biggest thing that I come across in my comments are why aren't my mods working resource.cfg file you have to have this file in your mods folder in order for your mods to work correctly if you accidentally delete it I have a video on how to get it back it takes less than a minute I will have that linked in the description of this video. It's very simple, but do not ever delete this file. Your game needs this file to read all of your mods in order for them to work. Sometimes you may have installed it correctly and all you did was accidentally delete the resource.cfg file, which is what I find to be the problem always when people ask me. But also make sure you have your script file. If the mod comes with a script file, which this mod does, most of Kawaii Stacy's mods come with script files, you need this because the script file is not like the other files in the folders. That's why it's not in the folders. So you have to have your script file. Make sure you just get everything out of the folder. And this is the WinRAR file opener. So make sure you take everything out of here except the guide and the text. You don't need any of that, but you do need all the folders and your script file. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that was simple enough. I'm going to show you guys another mod, how to install it, one that doesn't have a script file. Now in order to install this mod, all you need to do is drag the package file over and it is it is a custom trait, it is still a mod, um, but all since it doesn't have a package file, all you do is drag the, um, since it doesn't have a script file, sorry, all you do is drag over the package file and put it in your mods folder and that's it you guys. This is how you install mods. It is more difficult than custom content because most of the time mods have multiple files and you can't forget any of them in order for your game to work correctly with them but i hope this was helpful please leave a comment below if you have any questions and like this video if you liked it share it with someone who needs this information again i hope it was helpful and i will talk to you guys very soon in my next video